Welcome everyone to the remaining weeks of the Business Management Capstone course. This video will detail the remaining assignments for this semester. Within the weekly modules content area, you're going to see the folder that's labeled weeks 13 through 15 remaining assignments for this semester. As always, it has the same structure with the learning objectives, the assignment summary, which I'll go over each assignment one by one, course content, And now we get to the assignments. The first one is course participation, weeks three, 13 through 15, team communication. All this means is if you stay in constant communication with your team, you will receive 100 points for the course participation, weeks 13, 13 through 15. Keep in mind, it's only 100 points total. It's not 100 points for each week. So if I hear from your team that you're not participating, you will obviously not receive the 100 points for the course participation. Next, you have the Case 8 Tesla in 2019. That should be very straightforward to you. Next, we have the Global Simulation Year 15 Decisions. Normally, I just you know say, hey, you have decisions, you know what to do, let's move on to the next assignment. Well, I'm gonna pause for a moment. And the reason being is, Year 15, you can just have at it, meaning that you could take a lot of risk that you would not have done in the past. The reason being is there is no year 16 for us. We Our, our simulation uh, competition stops at year 15. So we don't care about year 16. We're not moving on to year 16. So definitely keep that in mind. I have seen teams in the past win the simulation by taking a lot of risk in year 15 because they knew there was no year 16. Now that's up to you. You don't have to do that. You can stick with your same game plan if you want to. I at least just wanted to share the information with you. Next one is the Global Simulation Post-Game Peer Evaluations. Clearly you know how to uh, accomplish this. Next we have Research Paper Disruptive Technology. The reason why I chose this topic for the research paper is Normally, when I present at conferences, I'm always presenting about disruptive technology. What's going to change in industry? So to me, it's kind of near and dear to my heart. I, I think anyone who's business minded needs to keep an eye ahead to see what might you know knock them off from being number one. Uh, so just make sure you review the assignment details, the grading rubric, and submit the paper. Okay, next we have the annual report. Okay, so this is a true annual report. This is not like your module reports where you just answered a few questions. This will take you some time. You should really, really, really be getting a jump on this early. Make sure you review the instructions, the grading rubric, uh, you know, review all documentation with team members before attempting the assignment. Each team needs to divide up the workload and meet on a regular basis. And of course, once you complete it, go ahead and have one team member submit it to the annual report submission link. Usually the first question I receive when students receive this annual report assignment is, where's my example? As you know, I don't give examples. There are a tremendous amount of examples out on the web of true annual reports by public traded companies that you can go look up yourself. You do not need me. You have to be able to think and learn on your own when you're you know, in business. And obviously, you also have team members that you can rely upon as well. Last but not least, we have the capstone presentation to the Board of Trustees, which is, of course, myself. So you want to review the capstone presentation details, review the grading rubric, schedule a team online presentation with me. I will attempt to accommodate your request date and time. I know last time with the introductions, I believe I pretty much was able to accommodate everyone. Keep in mind, you do not have to schedule within my office hours. I, I know some people work in the daytime, some work at night, some work on the weekends. So whatever works for the team, I will do my best to accommodate you with the presentation. Uh, one, one part I want to say about the presentation is do not read the slides to me. I don't want to see, you know, three paragraphs on one slide and you just read the slides to me. That's what's been happening in the past or with the bad teams, I should say. And they get deducted a tremendous amount of points because I do not want you to read the slides to me. 
There should not be a thousand words on one slide. Also, you should not just be reading something that you typed up prior to the presentation because it clearly will come across that way. You should know what's on a slide. You should have memorized what you should be saying and it should come across as natural, not as you're just reading a piece of paper to me. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and look at the results of year 14 within Globus. All I have to do is say, wow, for year 14 scoreboard. Uh, the reason being is year 13, we had company A in first place at 95, company B in second at 93, company C at 93, company D at 90, and company E at 77. And, uh, and keep in mind, I'm, I'm only referring to the uh, year 13 scoreboard, um, not the game to date. In year 14, we have company D at 98. So does a huge leapfrog and gets in first for the year 14 scoreboard. Company B at 95. Company A at 91, who's pretty much been leading the charge the whole semester. And company C at 91. And company E at 70. So company E, you're pretty much, you know, dead to me. Um, clearly... You're not even trying within the simulation and within the course, uh, so you will not receive any points uh, at all. As you can see, all the other teams are in the 90s. Uh, it's 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 a close competition, and and you're way down in the 70, which is unacceptable. Uh, but for the other teams who are doing tremendous and, and are just really battling it out, I have to say this has been the tightest competition I've seen throughout the years because right now. Uh, you know, almost any team could win. I, I really thought for a long time that company A was going to just run away with it. And and as you could see, that's not the case. If I go down to the game to date scoreboard, which is the overall score, company D is in first place. They gained seven bonus points and they're at 104. Company A is at 103. So, hey, you know, you can't count them out. They're only one point behind. They, they easily still can win. But look at company B, 99. They can win also. Uh, they're within striking distance. And Company C, 98. Then again, they're within striking distance. Now, Company E doesn't count. They're at 84. I, I dismissed them. Um, you know, I'm very disappointed in Company E. Clearly, they're not trying whatsoever. They should at least be in the low 90s, not 84. Uh, but that's enough about Company E. I really want to say, you know, congrats to D, A, B, and C. For, for trying your best and, and keeping in an interesting uh, competition throughout the entire semester. Um, I cannot wait to see who ends up winning it. And whoever does, you know, I, I highly commend your team because you have four teams battling it out and are not giving up whatsoever. So if you come out on top after year 15, uh, congratulations. Uh, but then again, I, I'd still say great job for, you know, coming to D, A, B, and C, as long as you, you know, you hold your ground or gain a little bit um, and don't end up like company E. Uh, but great, great job. You know, all I have to say is, is for those four teams. And uh, thank you for making it interesting for me as an instructor to just follow you throughout the semester. And um, of course, after this, I'm, I'm looking forward to your, your final presentations at the end of the semester, which we'll be scheduling here soon. Uh, well, that's all I have for this week. Um, as always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. Take care, everyone.